Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of InfoSec Daily. Since we have been getting a lot of questions regarding career in cyber security, we have decided to make a video on different options currently available in the market. So let's begin with SOC Analyst, where SOC means Security Operations Center. It is also said to be an entry level for cyber security path. Our SOC Analyst's task is to evaluate threat and vulnerabilities investigate and report on the issues and respond to the previously undisclosed vulnerabilities. This is a position that really opens your eyes to what cybersecurity is at an enterprise level because when you patch vulnerabilities, you get a lot in your hands investigating exactly what vulnerabilities do, how you patch them, how you can prevent potential vulnerabilities or different threats that are close to the ones you identified before. The next is security analyst whose responsibility is to protect data, security and integrity. Their primary task is to analyze the security measures of a company and determine their efficiency. Their job also includes implementing training required, instructing staff on proper security measures both in office and online. A business computer can never be too secure. So, we have security engineers whose main focus is on designing and developing computer systems that can deal with disruptions such as natural disasters or malicious cyber attacks. An entry-level job in an area related to cyber engineering such as uh, risk management or uh, program testing is also needed. If you love information security and thrive on excitement and technical challenges, Becoming an incident responder might be a path for you. They are sometimes referred to as the firefighter of cybersecurity world. Its main task is to prevent and protect against threats. To become an incident responder, potential employers may look for general security certifications such as a Certified Information System Security Professional or Certified Information Security Manager or incident response specific certifications such as global information assurance certification certified incident handler etc the other one is vulnerability analyst whose main task is to spot system vulnerabilities and create solutions their task also includes developing risk based mitigation strategies for networks os and applications certifications like CompTIA Network Plus, CompTIA Security Plus and CompTIA Pentest Plus can prove that you have the skills to be a vulnerability analyst. In terms of qualifications required to pursue a career in cybersecurity, it's possible to find certain entry-level cybersecurity positions with an associate degree, but most jobs require a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity or related field such as information technology or computer science. So this much for this video. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section below or we also have a subreddit where you can ask questions. And the link to the subreddit will be on the description below. If you like this video, do like and share it. And if you want more contents like this, do subscribe to our channel. This is Kripa signing off.